I grew. Well, Mother Nature grew it. <gasps> oh, zoom in. This is a beauty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at this juicy strawberry. Oh my God. Oh, it's as juicy as it looks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's probably really annoying. Unless you're into ASMR people eating strawberries in your ear. I apologize. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's garden video. Apologies for the noise of my washing machine and me looking like dead me. <laughs> I went to a yoga class this morning, namaste, and I don't know what the yogi did to me, but I walked out and I was like, my legs are like jelly. I think I'd, I think I flipped me upside down dog or something. I don't know what I was doing. She had me on my side. I was shaking. Anyway, now it's a day for the garden. I have loads of jobs. There was wind last week or over the weekend. The sunflowers, I need to stake the sunflower bed. They're getting huge. We have rain and heat and sun, so they're growing. They are like bigger than me now. They're easily like five and a half foot, I'd say now. I'm only 4'11 and three quarters, FYI. Stake sunflowers. I have a hydrangea Annabelle out the front that the wind, I don't know, but it needs a stake. It's starting to kind of flop. Um, I got lots of water, so I need to kind of do maintenance on that. I have a plant that is dying in the corner again. It did the same thing last year. I'm gonna dig it up and move it. I know you're not supposed to move things like this time of year, but I think I'm gonna cut my losses with it, dig it up, move it to the front border, see if it's happier there. Um, I wanna move my strawberry theater um, because I have this corner in my seating area just feels a bit crammed. If you saw my previous Sunday videos, I'm making a cute little seating area. Feels a bit crammed because it is a workstation as well because I have my hose um, and I'm moving my hose and stuff. So I need to do some pot movement. Um, two pots, the last of the spring bowls, there is canasias, I think they're called. Um, that's starting to die back, so I'm gonna take those pots away, just store them behind the greenhouse, let them die off, and I've daily is starting to open so they can take center stage. And I have loads of strawberries that I need to go out and harvest. Nobody's touching them. I lost one, I think, to the hedgehog because it was down really low, but the birds haven't touched them yet. Um, because every day I go out and I see, is there a strawberry ready? and I just make a mental note to come out the next morning to get it before the birds do, but I think the birds are more distracted with bird seed and everything else, so the strawberries, I am having an abundant year with the strawberries. I think it's because I'm feeding the soil that's in them. Anyway, that's the gist, random jobs. Oh, also, I need to deadhead in the front, I need to weed, and there are some spring daffodils that have gone yellow so I can cut them back. Some of them I, I might braid, some of them I can just cut back. Um, my friend Rachel bought me a peony and I actually noticed that there was an episode of Gardener's World where Frosty, Adam Frost, got a peony and he put it into the ground in its pot. And I don't know why, I think he was saying he would plant it in autumn so he could enjoy it in the pot. In the soil, like, so he dug a hole in his border and put it, sat it in the soil. I know peonies are temperamental, if you plant them too deep, they will just grow foliage and not flower. So I'm going to have a shot. It's extra special because my friend bought it for me. Um, so I won't plant it too deep. I have a mental spot. So we have some weeding, deadheading. We've lots of jobs to do. It's a proper, we got, we got to go to work today. <laughs> anyway, I want to finish my strawberry and off we go.
so this is the plant down the back that is not happy. Planted it last year. It is a Estilbe. Estilbe? I think that's the name. This did the same thing last year. It obviously doesn't like this area. Um, it's had water. The soil is lovely. There's moisture in it. It's been mulched everything. It came up lovely. I don't know if maybe this it's competing with this chap. So I'm gonna just take him out and see if I can give it a new home. It's got crispy leaves. It's just not happy. And the same thing happened last year in this space. In March, it started to come back. It had lovely healthy growth. Then it gets to this stage and it dies. I don't know the problem. I could probably Google it, but I am going to move it. I might even cut it back to the ground and then just maybe next year it'll come up in its new spot in a better place. I don't know, like it is trying to flower, but let's just move it. just wanted to show you what grows this time of year in the grass in the front so I'm going to stop cutting this for about maybe like a month six weeks maybe till August time and let this grow so it's like abundant and the bees absolutely love this and I don't know if you can see I have loads of it what I've done is I've just cut a border with the lawnmower so people <laughs> don't think I'm just not cutting my grass um, and then obviously as this grows up when I cut just around the edge um, people will know but yeah the bees go mad for this I know people do no mow may but there doesn't be much kind of in my grass but this time of year I have loads of this I think it might be called clover I could be totally wrong um, but yeah I have a Absolutely loads of it for the bees. Now, I'm still gonna cut the back though, because you know I love cutting the grass. I just have daisies in the back, so I try and not cut it as often. Um, but I still, you, you know me, I love cutting the grass. But I don't have much of the purple flower out the back, it seems to be just in that patch in the front. So yeah, time to tidy this up. have some soil gold in my wheelbarrow look there's already worms in it shout out to Brenda <laughs> I think I mentioned this before about the bag of poop so this is the last of what I had left so this is like well rotted there's like no smell there's like you can see there's bits of bark mixed in horse poop the finest <laughs> in Ireland there is worms in this it's basically from Brenda's compost heap so I'm going to go out and I'm going to mulch my roses so I gave them and my roses are just doing great this year and I think it's because I had mulched them I did put some of this on them a couple of weeks ago so I just needed space where I had the bag storing so I'm going out to mulch the roses with the horse poop and may I have plenty of blooms until autumn Hang on, am I zoomed? I had to pause for a cup of tea. So there was a threat of rain, so I said, right, I'll pause. 
got the grass cut, everything is all tidied, weeded, deadheaded. Now I want to move my pots, but it is threatening to rain, but I'm just going to try and do it. I won't lie, I'm very tired. I also broke my Fitbit, the top of the screen just fell off. <laughs> and I don't do that in strenuous, like, I know it's a bit of garden, but I broke my Fitbit, so today I don't know what steps I'm at or how, you know. <laughs> Good old times before technology ruled us. It's five o'clock now. I took like an hour break, I won't lie, I had a cup of tea and a bag of popcorn and I sit down. So I'm gonna go out and I wanna finish this today. I want to move the strawberries over and I might move my olive tree over, but it's a very heavy pot, so I'm gonna have to maybe put it on its side and roll it. I just hope it doesn't fall out. Oh, because where the olive tree is, last year it was right here and it thrived. I put it down there over winter and remember I repotted it and it went a bit scaldy. It is coming back, but this corner here gets all of the sun, which is what I think olive prefers. So I'm gonna move the olive tree over and put the strawberries over. It's not very often I need a man in the garden, but when I'm lifting pots, I could do with one. There is no such luxury. <laughs> there's a shortage of men. <laughs> no, there's not. Well, I'm, I don't know. There's a shortage in, in my house anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. Tell me your niece was in the garden <laughs> without telling me your niece was in the garden. Oh, hello, Polly Pocket. We better rescue Polly. <laughs> and the chalk <laughs> from the olive tree. <laughs> Look at the size of this one. Oh, I'm gonna get the poops from eating all these strawberries, but I did rinse this one down the hatch. In the old ways get washed out by the rain. So this is a little bit tidier. I have a bit more room just from taking the strawberries out. This dahlia was in front of the greenhouse. That's a bulb. I'm gonna say it could be a begonia, but I don't know. That's a bamboo that I almost killed, but you can see there's green coming back. I did the same thing with that one. Olive tree. Hopefully it'll be happier and then I have some lavender. This is white lavender. I got this last year and it smells amazing. So this corner is looking better. Oh, blondie into the pond. <laughs> so now I'm gonna bring the strawberries over, if I don't eat them all, <laughs> and put them on this side here and tidy that up. And then I should be done for the evening, but I did, in fairness, get a good bit done. So I'm happy with this. So there's like just a bit more room. And as them flowers kind of open, it will look nice and pretty. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night Cause I promise you this If you try to get some sleep If you give up the fight If only just Okay, a little bit better. It's kind of like that changeover again, isn't it? From when I took the tulips and kind of swapped them over. It's like the summer plants are starting. So when these dahlias start opening, it's gonna look pretty. Gave a bit of airing space around this hydrangea because it does get bigger. And here is my straws. I wanna show you this chair as well. <laughs> this blondie is by my side. Um, I tried to get when I was doing dahlias, cause I know the likes of the double, 
the pom-pom heads they're actually not is that what they're called <laughs> pom-pom heads or i just made that up so the single heads like these ones are better for bees whereas these are not as good for pollinators because they can't get in well bees strawberries now i have loads of strawberries so i need to come out with my bowl and just pick all of the ones that are ripe loads of them just ripened this week and then i need to just put them in the fridge or store them now let me share this chair the very talented joanne condon i saw on her instagram like she be me pal do you know but i saw she was doing this chair on her instagram and i was like i have the perfect home for this chair so she screen printed the fabric so she does have a cricket but she screen paint screen printed it um i'm i'm not sure like it's it's painted on if it's fabric paint or um but she did like a thing on her cricket i think maybe with vinyl i'm not sure screen printed and then it has it on the back as well so she got this chair like second hand and she did like even the fabric as well like the fabric is just amazing i'm absolutely in love with it so when she was finished doing it i was like the chair is mine i want to buy it off you i want to do a trade can we do a swap i'll do anything but the chair needs to be mine you're also resting on a flower pot because i'm too i'm too tired to go and get my tripod i'm gonna end that there for this week's garden video oh miss blondie might join me yes oh queen b it's been a while since she did like an intro or an outro so that's what we got up to i find them now so with it being early July, well, end of June, it's taken like a full day in the garden. So I might even try and do like evenings in the garden. So like cut it one of the days and then do the tidying up. But I find maybe once a month I have to do a good day like today. And then the others is just like planting and maintaining. Also, if you're watching this video on the Sunday, the day it's going up, I'm gonna be at Hampton Court tomorrow, which is not tomorrow when I'm filming this, but it will be when you watch this, if you watch it on the Sunday. I'm going to the Hampton Court Flower Show and I'll share it on Instagram. Um, so I had a pass for Chelsea and thank God I didn't throw it out because I can use it for Hampton. So Monday morning, I'm gonna go to the Hampton Court Flower Show. Hopefully I see Monty Don again. <laughs> Yeah, I'll share loads of pics and inspo on my Instagram so you can head on over there. I'll see if I can do a cheeky vlog on it. They did say that if you have a press or a media pass that you're not allowed to film. But I've seen people filming at Chelsea, but I just don't want to get into trouble. But I might do a cheeky vlog. But if not, just head to my Instagram um, and I will share loads of garden inspiration. And I love, so it's going to be July, the 4th of July. And, oh, happy 4th of July as well to... Uh, American audience, happy 4th of July. It's gonna be like the 4th of July, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Like I know show gardens are perfect and they're densely planted and the plants are perfect, but it's gonna be nice to see what's growing in their garden. Cause when I was in Chelsea in May, there was still, you know, some spring bulbs and um, there was not, a, not that there wasn't a lot in flower, but it was just about to burst open. Whereas now it's July and yeah there'll be like dahlias and like summer plants and i think that's where i struggle in the garden is with summer plants i nailed the spring i think but it's transitioning into like midsummer late summer and then getting that autumn color so that's the inspiration i'm looking for but anyway me and my sweaty head we're gonna end it there don't forget to subscribe if you stumble across me on youtube and um, hit the subscribe button um, Sunday is a garden video and Thursday is like more of a house craft kind of video ish <laughs> I loosely follow the rules um, so yeah hit the subscribe button for my regulars cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one